Hello and welcome to the 12th tutorial in the HTML basics tutorial series and in this tutorial we're going to look at forms and we're going to look at the password input element. And this tutorial assumes you've done tutorial 1 if you haven't there'll be a link in the description to the source code and as usual there'll be a link in the description to the source code produced from this tutorial. I'm going to go ahead and open up the web page. Uh, I believe that is the one but I'm just going to Open it up again just in case I'm editing the wrong one. And so first of all, I just want to add a form tag. Close off the form tag. And then inside the form tag, you just want to put password. This isn't necessary, but it's just to identify, or not necessarily to identify, it's just to visually see what that actual text input is used for. It's more for the viewer, I mean the user. And we'll put an input tag, put type equals um, password name equals. I'm just going to put pass name. Is it used within the scope of this tutorial? But the use of it would be to be able to identify the input. And like if you were to click on a sign in button on a sign in page on that form, you'll be able to identify the password using the name pass so you can actually do some validation and check that it actually is the right password. And I'll save that, I'm just gonna go ahead and open up index.html, and here we go, your password if we type in, as you can see there's no characters, or at least you can't see characters, it's being masked. That's the whole point of the password input. And let's just go here, let's see, say password, pass, and what, what I'm gonna do, let's change this to text so you can see the difference. And if I type in now, you can actually see the text. If I obviously change this to password, you can't see the text anymore. Because uh, obviously, generally, you don't want people to be able to view what you're typing into the password because you might be in a public library or in a cafe somewhere because you're not always in the comfort of your own home plus also you might have other people around that can look over your shoulders okay that's it for this tutorial in the next tutorial we're going to look at forms again but the checkbox element and um, thanks for watching